Good morning, friends. It is Saturday. It's the first day of July. It's the second half of 2023. I don't really know where this year has gone, but it's a four day weekend around here. Um, July 4th is on Tuesday. So pretty much everybody has a long weekend. It's really nice. I thought this would be a fun time to vlog a little bit. I'm probably not gonna vlog the entire weekend, probably today and tomorrow because I have some fun client things going on and just thought it would be fun to share. I haven't done just like a weekend in my life kind of thing in a while, so here we are. For those of y'all that don't know me, hey there, hi, I am Maggie Rainwater. I am the owner and CEO of Rainwater Poster Co. I do design and promotion for artists and events in the Roots Music community. And on this YouTube channel, I'm taking you behind the scenes of my business. We're talking about productivity, the tools that I love, and just sharing my life here in the mountains of Western North Carolina. So if you're here, I appreciate you being here. I would love it if you could help my channel grow by hitting the like button and subscribing for more. All right, let's keep going. It's about 8.30 and I am just getting the day started. Got a shower, got my coffee, did some journaling and planning since it is the beginning of the month. And that is what I'm going to do for the first part of this morning. I'm just gonna sit down and plan out like what I want to do this weekend and get a game plan going and then we're gonna go from there. Bible wants to join in. Hey buddy. Anytime he hears me in here recording or on a call or anything, he wants to participate. Come on, Jay. Come on. Hop up. Hop up. There you go. There you go. Good job, bud. Now you're healthy. You're healthy. So this evening, the Steep Canyon Rangers and John Stickley Trio are playing a hometown show at the Salvage Station in Asheville. Bible. And I'm excited to check that one out. Steep Canyon Rangers are from here, but they don't really play around here like a whole lot. So that's gonna be a fun time. Tomorrow, my client Darren Nicholson, who just released a new, you are ridiculous, cut it out. He just released a new album last week and he's having his album release celebration at Lake Junaluska, which is just a beautiful spot over in Haley County. And Unspoken Tradition, another great Western North Carolina band are playing too. I'm gonna bring you guys along to those and just whatever else we get up to over the weekend. Let's go get started. Seriously, dude, seriously. So we have kind of made our plan for the day and here's what we're going to do. We are going to work on cleaning out my project manager and my to-do list and making the plan for the upcoming month. So I use ClickUp for project management in my business. I'm also using a tool called Reclaim. So Reclaim schedules in time for me to do all the things that are on my project manager into my Google Calendar and it connects like all my different Google Calendars together. And honestly, like I've gotten sort of behind on updating my ClickUp and like moving done tasks out of there and adding new things in there. For me, my tasks come in really fast and a lot of times they just end up living in my Apple Notes until I move them over. So we're gonna try to kind of clean that out today so that we can start the new month with a nice plan and hopefully things blocked out in the Google Calendar through Reclaim. If you're interested in ClickUp and Reclaim, I have a link in the description that I will share with y'all. I love both of those tools. They are really big helps for me and my business. I just need to learn to use them more consistently. After we work on our to-do list, we might take a walk if it's nice out, get some lunch, we will get dressed, get ready to go hang up some 
posters. I have a few posters to pick up and a few to hang around Asheville today before we go to the concert tonight. All right, hey y'all, we have moved over to my desktop. I thought I would show you guys a little bit of what I was doing to get my tasks into ClickUp and how ClickUp integrates with Reclaim. So I was just going through my ClickUp, cleaning up my old tasks and updating some ones that I want to be recurring and updating their integration with Reclaim. So now what I'm gonna work on doing is moving my giant Apple Note list of tasks over there. So I need to make a spreadsheet for one of my clients to track some event promotion. So I'm going to go ahead and make a task for that. That's going to go under John Barry. That's the client. And we're just going to put this under content. Let's see. So when I make a new task and click up, I tend to just like make it and then go in and edit all the details. So let's do that. We're going to call this task. All right, so once we are in our task, we can add more details. So the way that Reclaim works is it integrates with ClickUp and it picks up my tasks that have the right parameters. So those parameters that I need to set up are, first of all, I have a special tag for Reclaim. It's this Reclaim personal. Then the task also has to be assigned to me. It has to have a time estimation and it has to have a start and an end date. Oh, I think this is probably going to take me about one hour. And let's see, I'm probably going to start it on Wednesday. And I would like to have it done sometime like before we get too far into next month's planning. So I'm going to put the 21st. Now, when I do all of these things, we should see a little automation for Reclaim. So you can see that reclaim scheduled time for this item. It says the status is scheduling. I can click over here to my reclaim to see more. And here you can see where my task has now been scheduled. Um, it's scheduled it like all the way at its due date. The one thing that I'm working on right now is just trying to clean out my click up and my reclaim and make sure that my priorities are up to date it does automatically update as those change. So as I'm sorting through my tasks, hopefully we can kind of move this up some and it's gonna do that for me automatically based on the time that I have available. So the way that Reclaim works is you set up your hours in which you want it to schedule your tasks and it will automatically schedule them for you and add them to your calendars. So I have my day job, I have working hours set up for that then personal hours or when it's going to schedule for me my business tasks. That's the way I have it split out. Um, there's a lot of customization that you can do in here and I'm learning more about it all the time. So there's also a habits feature, which is really cool. Like if you want to want it to schedule you time for a specific task, like I have it scheduled me an hour for some kind of self care during the week after I finish my day job before I kind of transition over into my other job. I'm going to go back over to ClickUp, move over a few more tasks, and then we're going to grab some lunch and figure out our next steps. All right, hey friends, we are gonna go for a walk here at Veterans Park in Black Mountain. It's a beautiful day, it's kinda hot. We'll see how that goes. Um, so I am not 100% done with the work stuff that I wanted to do today, but we're at a pretty good stopping point. Um, so 
since it is a holiday weekend and it's the beginning of the month, I'm not really working on too much stuff for clients right now. I'm more just working on like getting myself set up for success and doing some internal work and admin work in my business. So it's coming along well. I might work on it a little bit more later or maybe on Monday, but it's time to stop and go for a walk. And I wanted to tell you guys too about a challenge that I am doing in the month of July. Um, the organization to write love on her arms is doing a 31 miles in July challenge to help raise money for their organization. A coworker of mine told me she was doing it and I've been trying to get out and walk more often. So I'm trying to do it too. It's just mileage. It can be like walking or running. I am very slowly and begrudgingly trying to get back into running. Not really because I want to, only because I thought I was going to pass out and die sprinting across the athletic fields on the Harvard campus, trying to get to my rail spot to see the Foo Fighters, you know, priorities. So I'm like walking and just like jogging every now and then. I used to try to run regularly, but I have old lady knees, so. I don't know, we'll see, but whether it's walking or running, it's nice to actually just get out more often and have a challenge to do. So I'm gonna link to some more info about that and about the organization in the description. And I hope you guys will enjoy following along. This may be a separate video at some point with me sharing my walk slash run challenge with you. I got some stuff from my printful store. So this is the perfect time to film me opening it for you guys. I'm excited. See, so I have an online store. It's kind of my fun creative outlet. I make mostly like Roots Music merchandise, but then I also make some kind of fun um, mental health awareness sort of things. And this is something new that I made, and this is my first time getting it. So this is for all those situations where someone says that you're super on top of things, and really it's because you're obsessed with to-do lists because you have anxiety. So I made this shirt. The colors came out really bright. That's super fun. And then this one is for Mason. This design I made a couple months ago, it says, I'm not emotionally prepared for this. There we go, there we go. So much fun. And then I have some stickers with both of these designs as well. It's like a sticker sheet. And this is my first time getting one of these. Oh, it's so fun. Okay. So we should have two sizes of each sticker that we can peel off here. If I can get it out of the package. There we go. So much fun. All right. I'm going to wear this shirt tonight to the show. Here we go. I love it. Cut is nice, the colors came out really good. I'm excited about it. This is my outfit for the show. Let's go. All right, we've got posters. This is for a couple different events, so let's see what they look like. Oh, lovely, I got a coupon. I love coupons. Okay, so these, I have two different sets of posters for my clients, Adelie Maison. These are for their anniversary sale. These are for their monthly market. And then somewhere down in here, I should have some music flyers. Somewhere, somewhere. Ah, oh, yes. I have my client's Bloom Flower Farm. We're hosting Craig Carruthers later this month. So we have those too. 
And then I have one more set, which is already in my bag. These are for an event that my client Darren Nicholson is playing for the Haywood Hospice organization. It's a fundraiser show. So I've got those. So this day has kind of gotten away from me a little bit because I got like distracted by this new merch coming in, which is fine because it's really fun. I'm excited about it. But we're going to do as many posters as we can before we got to head to the salvage station for the show.
night. Hey guys, I am back home. Bible's excited. Oh, hey bud. I had so much fun at the concert. That was a really great show. I'm glad I went. It was cool to have a small part in spreading the word. Rainwater Poster Co. hung posters for that show and it's always super cool when you get to see how the events turn out. It was a great crowd. The music was so good. I had a great time. They played for a very long time and I am tired now and gonna go to bed so we can do it again tomorrow. Good morning, sweet boy. Are you comfy? Good morning, friends. Happy Sunday. It's about 10.30 a.m. We are getting a late start today and that's okay. I tend to like to sleep in on Sundays and I was tired from the show yesterday. They didn't stop playing until close to 11. It was a long show. I'm tired. I enjoyed sleeping in and we're just gonna get a slow start to the day. I've been drinking my coffee. I just made a reel about my Thanks It's Anxiety shirt. And I had some full moon journaling prompts that I kind of wanted to do today because tomorrow is the full moon. It's already feeling like the full moon around here. There was a moment last night at the show that you guys will see where you could actually see it behind the stage as it was coming up and it was so cool. So I'm really feeling this full moon. I'm gonna do some journaling and we're gonna get the day started. We will see what happens. I'm gonna try not to have too much of a schedule today because it is Sunday and it's a four day weekend, so. Hey y'all, it's been a nice chill day around here so far. I did some yoga. Nathan and I kind of straightened up the house. We got a watermelon we needed to cut up and that's always like an adventure, but <laughs> we did that. And now I'm getting ready to go to Lake Junaluska and hang a few posters along the way. And I am super excited. I got these big, ridiculous bell bottoms last month, but I've been waiting to wear them because last month was my dress month. So I just put them on for the first time and they are my new favorite thing ever. Hopefully you guys can see them. They're so long, it's kind of ridiculous. Like the tops of my, you can just barely see my heels. But they're so, so fun. I love them, I'm excited to wear them. So this is my outfit of the day. I got so Nickel Creek was actually to headline Merle Fest and they pulled out because Chris Feely lost his voice but they still had sent these super sweet t-shirts to the festival so I love it it's really retro and fun this is my first time wearing that as well so this is my outfit of the day let's go hang a few posters and then we're gonna go to the lake
Hey friends! Oh my goodness! I just got home. I was really excited. That is it for our weekend. I had a great time at the lake shooting content for Darren Nicholson. It was a great evening of music. And now we are just gonna wrap things up for the day. Thank you guys for following along with me this weekend. I've had a lot of fun. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you have, please hit the like button and subscribe on YouTube so that you can help me grow and be notified when I make new videos. Thank you so much. I hope to see y'all again really soon. Good night.